Hello, Internet and Steam. Everyone else playing Mysterious Space, this is Ben with another Mysterious Space update. I just said Mysterious Space twice. Uh, it's been a little while, but I wanted to show you the progress I have made, because uh, I think it's real cool. Let me get the mouse cursor out of here. Oops, and I need to continue a game. I specifically um, set up a game where I would have a forest world, because that's what I want to show off. So I've got a couple things to show off, and let's just jump right into it. Uh, there is a mini boss floating somewhere on this level. We'll go find him later. I also wanted to, um, I think the jaggy terrain edges I've talked about before, but I recently added, just for the heck of it, some vines. That's not enough vines. You see a couple little vines there. There's more vines. They they hang. Uh, you know, they're added, uh, let's not say randomly, but procedurally, apparently. I don't know why people are so picky about that. I feel like randomly generated is fair enough, but I guess if it was truly random, then this level would just be noise of sometimes solid blocks and it doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. So anyway, you can see the vines. Very nice, very pretty. Let us find the mini boss guy. And he's not complete. He's not gonna move to try and shoot me or anything and he his little segments are not regenerating. Uh, but he is there and he, he looks he looks pretty intimidating. Uh, I, I definitely, you know, it's whoop, there he is. It's hard to say how scary he is without having it. Look at this, it's like, it's like a bullet hell, right? So these little bullets he's shooting are EMP bullets. And I'm going to go through the game. One thing that's going to happen in the next update, I'm going to make it so that EMP bullets are always blue and bullets that hurt are never blue. Um, because that's a thing I think needs to be obvious just from looking like, hey, that's not a bullet that hurts me, that's a bullet that slows me. Which can hurt, especially if you want to dodge bullets. So one way you might try to shoot this guy, and I'm completely failing, is you can, he, he, he alternates which of those two turrets he's shooting his little orange, did you, did you see that? Gosh, I don't know if it's, if it's obvious. Um, but there's one below, one above, one below, one above, and I specifically did that so that you can try and play a little wiggle game like this. But again, once he's moving, is that going to be, you know, workable or not? And you can see him blowing up all his little pieces. Let's just get rid of the EMPs because they're real annoying. Oh, I would like that. Uh, and again, he's supposed to regenerate ship parts. Um, the speed at which he regenerates those parts will depend on the number of players. So the more players, the faster he regenerates, which is to uh, encourage people um, to, to group up to fight him while smoking bits. Now, you probably noticed he dropped a bit of fuel. Fuel. Um, and that's important because one fuel, if, if there is a mini boss, there's not going to be a mini boss on every level, but if there is a mini boss, he's going to have one of the fuel. It's not going to be hiding somewhere on the planet's surface. You have to defeat the mini boss in order to leave. At first, I was going to do something where it was just like, you can't leave. There's a big angry ship on the planet. And I was like, well, that's silly. That doesn't really make sense. What if I made it so that if you leave while he's there, then he chases you in space, and then you have to fight him on like a fixed thing? And I was like, well, I Ben, this is all very complicated. Just make it so he's carrying the fuel so you can't leave until you defeat him. And actually, that's a little interesting as well because on the levels where... I kind of talked about this before. Um, so there's some levels where there is an additional fuel somewhere on the level, and if you collect all four, even though it only says you need three, as it does down here in the lower left, only need three fuel, but if you find that fourth one, then you unlock a, a, like a, a secret level. Let's call it secret. Secret is, is kind of giving it too much credit. They're not that secret. It's pretty easy to find all four fuel. You're probably going to find it anyway, looking around. Anyway, if uh, one of these guys is on a level where there's a fourth extra fuel, you could just ignore him. You could just find the three fuel and go, and never mind the boss. Um, yeah, it's real funny. So that <laughs> this is <laughs> here's another bug. Um, currently, you know, I'll fix this up, but when he's on the screen, it looks at each individual part and says, whoa, that's an enemy. And most enemies, let's just play the game, most enemies um, will despawn, or whatever you want to say. They're, they're removed from the game if they get very far away from you. Uh, but I specifically made it so that the mini-boss doesn't, because we don't want him doing that. Uh, the consequence, though, is that the game also says, hey, if there's already, like, three monsters on the level, don't add more. And that number, three, uh, increases the further you go in. So later on it can be like, yeah, there can be, like, ten guys on the screen, don't even care, just keep adding them. Um, but the mini boss right now, all his little parts are being counted, and, and again, he never despawns, so as long as there's a mini boss right now, uh, no enemies are, are appearing, and that's why I wandered around for so long without anyone harassing me uh, until I killed the boss. So that's easy to fix. Um, I already have some exceptions, like those little swarmy guys that, that bunch up around uh, pickups. If, if you remember, I, I haven't seen any just now. 
Uh, but anyway, they're already excluded from that count, uh, and it'll it'll be trivial to just make the mini bosses also not count, you know, toward toward that number of enemies, uh, the number of enemies that are allowed on screen. I'm putting that in air quotes because they can be a little bit off screen, and, but whatever you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, anyway, so th there, there's obviously some issues. It is not done, uh, but that's okay. This is not released, you know, this is all just my work in progress local copy. I also don't know if you can hear the music. It's playing some music. I'm holding the microphone like super close. Anyway, uh, and uh, the person doing the music, DDR Kirby, ISQ. I need to ask what that ISQ stands for because I don't know. Anyway, uh, they are working on another tune. We, oh, I think I mentioned this elsewhere, but we hung out on Twitch TV. Uh, I watched them make music in Fruity Loops, which is super cool. Uh, just, to, just, to, and, and then be able to give feedback and be like, "Hey, can we make that sound, you know, a little more 8-bitty or whatever?" And, and then it just happened. And I don't know. It was really cool. It was apparently the first time they had worked together with someone else uh, in that way, and, and you know, it was fun for both of us. So, uh, anyway, I, I haven't got that music back yet, but I'm sure I will. And that's going to be the desert theme. Uh, that we made, or possibly, you know, I can't decide. Uh, probably the desert theme. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to show off. Um, you know, there's nothing else exciting and new. I mean, we could look at lava worlds, but we've seen them before. Uh, you may notice the mini map on the bottom. I think I talked about this before. It's it's dark so that you can see the whole area to to discover. Uh, hopefully, encouraging people to explore more and realize. Yeah. Anyway, that is all I have to show off. I could you know keep playing just for fun of it, but. Let's not waste your time. Um, current release date, I'm trying to think if I, if I have a release date in mind. I think it depends on what I do this weekend. If I tell all my friends to go away this weekend and I just spend the weekend working on this game, I will have this release done by this weekend. Like seeing how the, how the uh, mini boss progress has come along. Like, Whoa, you know, and, and it, a, a lot has happened in just a couple days. So if I had a couple more days, I could do that. Um, something else I want to add though is four player co-op. Um, and that's going to be here, so right now if I press, oh you can't see, but right I get the second, the double width screen. What I would like to do, and, and this is how you would select a um, another ship, if you want someone to be the orbital for another ship, what I want to do instead is make it so that on the, you know, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I'm, we're going to have four player co-op where you can have two ships, each with an orbital, and the way it's going to do that is it'll put the orbital right on the same screen with, with the main ship. So you won't name your ship if you're in orbital, which it currently has you do. The UI is all a little wonky for the orbital co-play, so I'm going to fix that up, or co-op. Um, so I'm going to fix that up and, and add four-player co-op, and that might actually make things take a little bit longer. Um, but anyway, so, so I'm looking at, at something either this weekend, if I have enough time, or sometime uh, the middle of next week, So, which will be good. If possible, I would like to participate in this year's seven-day roguelike competition. Uh, challenge, I guess, is a, is a more appropriate word, and that is where this game started. Um, Mysterious Space started as a 70 RL uh, entry last year, and, you know, it's grown into this monster that's not very roguelike, <laughs> necessarily. Um, I would love to participate again, make something more, a little more traditionally roguelike, but still tie into Mysterious Space. I think it would be interesting if, if uh, it could tell a story about the same universe as Mysterious Space is set in, um, but, 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 but a more roguelike thing, you know, someone else's point of view, something like that. I, you know, we'll see. Um, I might also just instead plow forward with Mysterious Space and never mind the 7 DRL. So anyway, I have said quite enough, as always, rambling, sorry, but thank you for watching and thank you for playing, and I will have an update and maybe a new release uh, for you soon. Later.